Hello and welcome to the smoothing tutorial series for NUM Excel. In this video we'll demonstrate the Holt Winters double exponential smoothing. We'll be using the International Passengers Airline data for our example. To start, click on the E4 cell and type DESMTH in the formula bar. Click on the FX button to show the function dialog box. Specify the input sample data to date. For the first cell, we only have one data point. For the smoothing factor alpha, we'll reference the value in the E1 cell and lock it. For the transmoothing factor beta, we'll reference the value in the E2 cell and lock it as well. For in sample smoothing, set the forecast horizon to zero or reference the value in A4. Click OK. For the first few points, we don't have enough data, so the function returns an A. Copy the formula to the next cell. Hit F2 to edit it in E5, then click on the FX button on the left of the formula toolbar. Modify the input cell range to include all available data to date, and lock the start cell address. You can click OK. Copy the formula to all the cells below it. To perform an out-of-sample forecast, we move to the end of the cells range. Copy the last cell to the one below it. Edit the formula in the new cell by modifying the input cell range to exclude blank cells. Note that the step value in cell A148 is now 1 to indicate a forecast. Log the ending cell address in the input data range. Now copy the cell to the ones below it. Let's plot the smooth time series along with the forecast. Note that the forecast is trending lower. The double exponential is not ideal smoothing for data with seasonality. Next, we'll demonstrate how to locate the optimal values for the smoothing parameters alpha and beta. First, we'll compute the sum of the squared errors, or the SSE, for the smooth time series. We'll use Excel's SUMXQ and NumExcel's TSSub to calculate this value. There we go. Next, we'll find the SSE for different alpha and beta values, from 0 0.1 to 0 0.9. To calculate the SSE values, we set up a two variables data table. Now, select the table, switch to the data tab, and click on What If Analysis to pick the data table item. For row input, reference the cell where the beta value is stored. For column input, reference the cell where the alpha value is stored then click OK. The SSE values for each alpha and beta pair values are shown in the table. Let's plot the surface now. Select the table range. Then plot a grid surface. Note the blue edge in the center that corresponds to a minimal value. The alpha and beta values of this point are 0.9 and 0.1 respectively. Update the alpha and beta values to those optimal values. The smoothed curve is updated and a new forecast is generated. The forecast is still trending down, but it's not as bad as earlier. That is it for now. Thank you for watching.